Yeah, yeah. Right. Indonesians are really easy. Not gonna lie. Indonesian people in general, they give. You know, they will give. Whatever they have, they give. They cheat more than other country, I think. I've been around and um so much. And the number <laughs> is <laughs> zero six nine. Zero six nine? No, no, what? no. They know not because oh, yeah. I don't know the number. Six six nine. So Rashi, do, do you counting every time you make it out? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. That's some shit you do in twelve. Like mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. a kid shit. Okay. But like so, uh like yeah, Indonesians are really easy, I'm not gonna lie. But oh. when when meeting them, I've never like lied to them, like told them like that this is how I wanted. I because I decided to move here. I wasn't playing any games. I was just straight up honest straight away. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I've, I've had some serious relationships too, and some wow. of them turned pretty fucked up. Is well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was together uh, for two three years before. Ooh. Oh my god! Yeah. I thought you guys getting married. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the thing, because in my country we don't really get married. Oh. Oh okay. Yeah. That's cool. And um, yeah, so that's always an argument or a topic. Because you want to marry it and then you don't want to marry it. You know, you know, coming here, I, I thought that most people want to get married mm. or most people was religious, but that turned out not to be true. Mm. Like, okay. just, they say they're Muslim, they say they're Catholic, they say they're Christian, but then you ask them, why do you do this? Oh, I don't know. Why do you do this? I don't know. I don't know. My grandma told me. Like, are you really, are you really Catholics? Like, it's not oh, really, really, I don't really know. One. Like, but then you're not Catholic. Yeah, you can't talk just because from your family. You're not really, you're not really religious, so yeah. Yeah. why are you saying that again to me? But then you start to notice that they're very influenced by their family. Mm -hmm. Everything, the decision they do in their lives is all yeah. orientated by family. And I've met family. people that was, you know, they wanted their daughter to be set up with a guy that they decided to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they just sort of kind of moved mm -hmm. to Bali because they wanted to escape their family. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and these people are actually pretty cool because they're open to they're very open to uh, a new culture in their life. That's the mm -hmm. But there's some sort of like barrier. Like they say they want to get introduced to a new culture, but at the same time they kind of don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. it's like they don't really know what they want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. I do. I do. Yeah. No, I want something serious, but it's it's kind of difficult to find it here, especially Bali. Mm -hmm. Because the worst part about Bali, I think, is that there is you know, Bali is like more open than the rest of Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Like you go to Yogyakarta or whatever, oh. you can't walk with shorts or like a you skirt. No, no, you can walk yeah. around with a bra. No. But coming to Bali, you can do that and they feel free. And mm. there's Westerners there with, that doesn't judge them and they got mm. different cultures and they feel accepted. Yeah. But they don't realize these guys are tourists. They're just here and they want to have fun. Yeah. yeah, and they'll say whatever they need to say to get what they want. Yes, they'll say they love them. They say they're gonna live here forever. They say mm -hmm. you're gonna give them a house. They say they're gonna get married to them. But that's all bullshit. And so they not just leave. all. Yeah. Well, you'd be surprised. Uh, mass majority. Yeah, It'd be like ninety. Because think about they play the game even yeah. when they left. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they say I'll come back next year. That's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. So they just say that because they want that romantic kind of. Yeah, so that's the way in Bali, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, the, the people's, the, the person that you meet here is not the same person in their country. Yeah, yeah. exactly, 100%. Yeah. I agree with this. With they're you. they're yes. completely yes. a completely different person. And they're yes. acting this behavior while they're yeah. here because they can be whoever they want to be here. Yeah. Yes. It's a playground yes. for them. It's a playground. Yes. 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 And I yes. think that's so horrible with all these locals. That's like, true. Getting treated that's that true. way and they fall for it and then they get damaged and then they really don't get married and then we find what they really want to do. And then and then they become Orangila. Orangila. <laughs> <laughs> now for us, yeah, 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 so, so Bali yeah. is, is kind of fucked up in that way, but yeah. in that way it's also beautiful because you can explore yourself, which yeah. they couldn't really do before. I mean, they can find new sides of them they never thought they did, and find new values and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's cool, but it's also sad because they have this image of like American movies, how it's still possible. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that it's real. Well. I it's like true. That. It's true. Whole lot of tourists with no game. Yeah, so and this is kind of like a topic you have to talk about every time yeah. you're seeing someone. Mm. 
because yeah. they don't realize like yo you don't understand how these people are thinking like they're playing you you don't get it mm -hmm. it's an yeah. easy game this, this is definitely a thing that you have to do all the time whenever you meet someone yeah. you have to, when you see that they're genuine mm -hmm. you know you try to help them you try to say like look i'm an okay guy i'm fucked up too but like i'm not gonna play you like that mm -hmm. but there are many guys that are gonna be playing you, you know, and you're a little bit too genuine to realize that. And it, it is said, I agree with him, you know. Mm -hmm. You meet many nice girls here that they are so not like innocent, but not not like you know, they're just genuine, you know, they don't mm -hmm. know what like the wrong or right, especially when they just arrived in Bali, you know, like oh I just arrived here two months ago, one month ago. Yeah, it's a completely different person. You meet them one year later, yeah, they're different. gonna be completely different. Mm -hmm. You know, they're gonna be like all crazy, you know, but when you meet that girl, when you're like, she just imagine and saw Tinder or Bumble and like, hey, I just, this, you're the first one that, you know, I'm meeting in first person and you're like, oh, baby, like, <laughs> if you're lucky to meet someone that's actually going to tell you, like, watch out for this and watch out for that, because motherfuckers are just going to, you know, take whatever you're going to give. And one thing that I noticed here in Indonesia is like the girls, or I don't know if it's in, Indonesian people in general, they give, you know, they will give. Whatever they have, they give, you know, they love to give. And if you find the wrong person, they will take yeah. and take, take and take, 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 take until, you know, until you get yeah. traumatized, <laughs> traumatized. Because most of the girls that I meet, they're like, you know, I'm traumatic, I'm traumatized yeah. with Bule and traumatized with whoever or even an ex Indonesian boyfriend because of this and that and then mm -hmm. this is why I became like this you know mm -hmm. I met some girls that you know they were able to in a month she told me like oh I was with like 40 plus 50 guys in one month you know mm -hmm. in one month that's gross you know <laughs> yeah but why why was she doing this because she ended a relationship of three years and then she was like fuck it I'm in Bali it's time for me to explore all the bullet and oh. yeah, there you go yeah. So okay. when I got here, I was pretty like open to like meeting new people. Yeah. But after a long time, I, I started seeing this so-called disgusting game, like how people are behaving here and how girls are kind of following along with it. Yeah. Like part of it. Yeah. Don't make me want to date them anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I do meet someone that has just moved to Bali, yes, it kind of interests me because they're innocent. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're not corrupted yet. Yes. That makes me very interested in them. Yes. But, yeah. So and if I meet one of those, great, I'm gonna probably go for it. Yeah. But crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Yeah. I don't know how, how, how to know? get more into that. But yeah. 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 I think funny thing is I realized this first week when I was talking with like some girls, they would tell me, Hey, listen, I'm just tired of like you foreigners, blah blah blah. She went on a rant. She went on a tangent saying like I'm tired of this dude, like he manipulated me and blah 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 and this and that. And I'm like, listen. Don't worry, I'm here to be direct with you. You just gotta be careful. You know what? One topic that we're talking a lot about, like in my, in our culture, for example, like we go to school, they say question this, mm. or you, uh, how am I gonna put this? Like in your country, they say, here, have a beer. They don't tell you this is forbidden, this is haram. You cannot have beer until you're 23 or whatever. Yes. But my parents, for example, like the, the law in my country, they say you can drink alcohol when you're 18. Mm -hmm. But the parents give you alcohol when you're a kid. Yeah. They give it early because they don't want you to think it's forbidden. Because if it's forbidden, you want it more. If I tell you, yeah. you can't oh, go you're there, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you're sense. not allowed to go to that room, True. then you want to go to that room even more. Yeah. Right? I see. And if they say, you're not allowed to have sex, then I just want it more. I get yeah. more curious about it. Yeah. Like, I'm not allowed to have alcohol, you're not allowed to party, you're not allowed to do this or that, you're going to you know, do body. Then I just get more curious about it. You know? Yeah, and then... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when yeah. when I when I um, first moved to Indonesia, beforehand I thought, well, this is gonna be a country where people actually like you know still nice, not following the rules. They're not cheating. They mm -hmm. they don't get divorced and stuff. They don't mm -hmm. drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. They really take mm -hmm. care of themselves. Mm -hmm. They're praying all the time. And I thought like my country was kind of fucked up when I got to Indonesia. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this country's more fucked up. Like, <laughs> yeah, because you come here and say, oh, I'm gonna gila, I'm gonna gila. It's like, you no, know, you think I'm gila, you're gila. Like, you're disgraceful. You're disgraceful. Because we all are on Yeah, because when you get, when you get here, and you know, it's like, uh, oh, yes, you don't eat bambi. Oh, I did it before. It's like, oh, okay. So you don't drink alcohol. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. You smoke? I'll smoke. 
You do drugs. And they fuck anyway. Like, I have never been in a country, no offense, I've been traveling around a bit. I've never been in a country where people cheat more than any country I've been into. that they always wanted as kids and they felt they're forbidden to have sex and the fact they're getting some attention they always wanted now they're mm -hmm. getting it yeah. they start wearing hijab oh now they're getting attention the that they wanted yeah he had a lot of experience all of a sudden they see money that they didn't have before you know they're 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 staying in nice they're calling places bullet, yeah. you know, yeah. they're calling they're taking to them to nice places yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, having nice dinners that. nice yeah. breakfast and look like shit yeah. Yeah. i want to be with that guy too yeah what about you so I'm also, well, I've been here for six months, and like definitely uh, as I came here, it was definitely like also culture shocking for me. Definitely was expecting something more conservative, something more slow, you mm -hmm. know? And I could tell the difference because I spent one week in Jakarta after my quarantine, and I could tell that there was a little bit different, even though it's the capital city, you could see the girls are a little bit more, you know, you know, oh, we have to go into the room, you cannot kiss in public, you cannot do this and that in public, you know? And I was like, okay, it's nice. But then when I came to Bali, it was completely different. Like, the girls are just, you know, straight to the point, straight to, you know, everything. And, uh, well, the number, I don't know a number. I, I mean, we're, we're not kids, we don't keep numbers, you know? But uh, definitely enough to know a lot of shit that happens here in Bali, you know, just like how he's telling these stories of like, you know, you meet certain girls or this and that, you know, it's, you know, you learn fast. If you're a fast learner, yeah, you know, yeah, you're yeah. going to learn very quick that there are girls here that are like in a loop, you know, yeah, like in a loop yeah. of this playground that is Bali, which yeah. is basically like, you know, they will be going between a lot of other foreigners and maybe you'll be on her list for a little bit, yeah. but after a month or two, she'll be tired of you or you'll be tired of her because you'll be doing the same thing. So you mm -hmm. cannot be a hypocrite because the bullet and the men are also doing the same, you know, switching in a loop Circulate. between other girls, you know, and that's what's happening here. Sometimes you go back into the old one, but it's not the usual. And um, yeah, learning all of this is just like really like, eh. and that's why me and Rasha, we can agree that like when you meet an Indonesian person, wherever they're from, when they just arrived in Bali, they are more interesting. You know, they are more interesting to us because that's like a person that ha well, hasn't been corrupted yet. And you still have, you know, you get to know her much better, you know, before she turns into this Bali monster or whatever. It's also really say. fun to be part of like uh, her experience. Like, for example, my ex girlfriend in, uh, back in Lombok, she had never had like Western food. Mm. All right, never. She'd never been partying. She'd never been doing a lot of stuff. It was really fun introducing this stuff to her. Like mm. super fun. That's so you it. see, that's someone's getting shit, and it really made us talk a lot more. I thought it was really fun. Okay, guys. So next question. Now, what is the, uh, what's your tips for how to pick up a woman while traveling? PJ. traveling in Asia all you have to do my tip for you is exist okay. you just have to exist as long as you are a foreigner there will be girls for you because they're all like I don't know like oh a foreigner all that blah 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 you know oh they're not gods or something I don't fucking know but it happens doesn't matter if you're black if you're white if you're brown 
as long as you have that nice English or something of like, or even if you don't, if, even if you can't speak English, we have some Russian people here. I see you Russian people, you know, can't really speak. They're like, hey, I don't speak good, 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 good. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, careful, that little pussy's gonna come for your ass with that talk, bro. Careful. Who you take hey, this Who you take this Yeah, who you take this Okay, we, we, we like comments. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. So, that's the tip. The tip here. The tip here is just like you just yeah. have to exist. You don't have to, to do yourself. anything. Like, mm -hmm. Literally, like in Europe, we have to try hard. Like, oh. like you have to. You have to. Oh. Jesus, so don't even start with that. Oh my God, that's you know, like a whole. Back at home, home, back at home, you, you have, have to put effort country, and mm -hmm. all that stuff. They're so independent. Like mm -hmm. they don't need me. That's they true. don't need me for that. That's true. That's true. And if I tell them, if I tell them, for example, going, I don't know about your cultures, but if I. If yeah. I open the door for her, she's like, I can open my fucking door. Mm -hmm. oh. I can pay her for food, I can pay for my fucking food. Mm -hmm. I'm not so your, independent, yeah. Yeah, I'm not your dog. Like, I'm not, do I look like a kid to you? Like, it's like I a completely really different thing. Like, here, you pay for the like, oh, I'm a cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I do <you> daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and but if you're talking, if you're talking in my country, they like, Oh, so it's different words. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's no such thing as a woman's well, kitchen. Well, in Asia, they no like somebody treat, treat them like a queen, like a princess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. but here's the thing, you ain't a fucking princess. Mm -hmm. But in Indonesia, <laughs> to make a... Okay, let me make a strike. But in Indonesia, we'll be taking care for the guy. Yeah. We're taking care. Yeah, yeah. but for that, yeah. it can be nice for a while, but after a while, you'll be like, stop it. Like, <laughs> I'm a big boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Okay. And what about you? Give me a tips. Yeah. Tips. Yeah. As I said before, prior, uh, just be just be genuine. If you want to like pick up girls mm -hmm. in Indonesia, you just gotta be genuine. Gotta be real. Of course, you gotta be funny too. You gotta be funny too. <laughs> and also the C word, confidence. You gotta confidence. have confidence. You know? Confidence is very important. Like very Indonesian important. girls, they can sell a guy's confident from a mile away. They can really tell that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ending, no. I'm just wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Like, like, documents. Oh, yes, man. Like, oh, wait. Like, what? Really? Like, you know, like, are they confident? No, they are not confident. Yeah. Do you have balls? No. Yeah. Oh. Because some of them will approach you just because, yeah. like, you, you exude that energy. You have that aura, man. Yeah. Yeah. Aura, like. yeah. For real. Oh, you're For real. <laughs> just a C word. Confidence. You know, that's it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is the main topic on this okay. discuss. So I want to ask him about what the best experience. Oh no, no, no! What the favorite sex position for hmm. you guys? Hmm. 